Boxing Ego here. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like button and also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon on the top of your screen to get notified when the latest new content drops. One. <laughs> what do you yeah, think? Man, of, you gotta have it, man. What do you think about Kell Brook? Yeah, if it messes my money up. What do you think about the Kell Brook now saying that weight played a factor in your fight, and that's really the reason why he didn't perform like he wanted to? Man, how much? What Kell Brook said he used to walk around at? 180 or something. I mean, weight don't play a factor in that at all. I mean, he had all these nutritionists. I don't have nutritionists. I don't have I don't have none of that stuff that he got our high facility where you know they checking his blood and glucose and all the other different stuff like that. I don't have none of that stuff, and I make weight, and I'm a big welterweight too. If you look at me and Kel Brook in the press conference, I look bigger than him. So I mean, he can have all the excuses in the world. Like I said, he get that title at 154. I come up to 154 and take that from him too. Now we live right now. Why do you think fans like you so much? Like the comments are coming in crazy. I mean, I guess it's like I'm a genuine dude. You know, I don't try to be something I'm not. You know, you know, I answer questions straight on. You know, and just I'm just myself at the end of the day. I'm not trying to put on a persona to be something else. I'm me. So they accept me for me. People like genuine people. Everything. Barbecue. Hey, what's barbecue, that? pizza, <laughs> everything. Explain. I seen on your social media you said peanut butter, jelly, and egg. Yeah. A, yeah. That, is that some Texas stuff? I never heard. I, don't of. Eat it, I used to eat a lot. That, that's when I was just I was always walking around like 159. I used to eat like peanut butter and jelly with eggs in the morning. What kind of like eggs I, do you put on it? Scramble. You put the scrambled eggs. I ain't never heard yeah, of you put the, get the peanut butter, put the scrambled eggs <laughs> in the peanut butter with the jelly, and then you eat it. That's that man down sandwich. Yeah, <laughs> the man down sandwich. And then you be good. You be good for the whole. Like you want to be hungry. You be good all the way up to dinner. Um, really, I was trying to look. I was trying to look for um, for, um, for like a quote for Instagram, and I was just going through songs <laughs> trying to find a quote for my knockdown. And then your guy was like, I want his song, he was like, shots fired, man down. And then I just put shots fired, man down. And I just kept saying, man down, man down. And then people, and everybody started running with man down. Boosie's your favorite rapper, right? Yeah, he wanted to be. Boosie's your favorite rapper. Yeah. What's what about your... Takashi 69? <laughs> I mean, he, he got one good song that, that I like, that, but I don't. I don't rock the dude like that. Can you speak on Jamal Charlo's? Obviously, you saw the Instagram video Jamal Charlo did. Uh, did you see it? I said, actually, did you see it? Oh, yeah, I see it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's your impression that you talked about Adrian Broner? I'm, can I ask you a question? <laughs> <laughs> Adrian Broner, talk, if he loses this, this is maybe over for him. And two, he said he wants to lift Devontae Tank Davis up. I said, <laughs> that visual was funny. Yeah, crazy. Uh, -huh. uh I, mean, I mean, I hate to see them getting to it because I'm cool with Javante, I'm cool with Jamal, and I'm cool with Adrian. You know, they're my guys. So I don't know why they got to it. You know, I don't get in grown man business, so I never asked them why they got into it. I never even brung it up why they got into it. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't get in grown man business. That's why people like me too because I stay out of people business. I mean, them two dudes get into it. It is what it is. I don't have nothing to do with that. That's a clean jacket, a little jumper. Yeah, Black man. more popular than man. Yeah, <laughs> man. Pretty dope. Ain't got nothing to do with Wakanda, none of that stuff. Just yeah. Black by popular demand. And the fans want to know who you're fighting because we're live right now. Yeah. Is it official to announce? Yeah, it's official. Yeah, I'm fighting a compo. You're mandatory. Yeah, I'm mandatory. So I can get him out the way, and then I can. Well, I'm not going to wait on Keith Thurman, so. If I fight Danny and, and Sean fighting somebody, so, I mean they fighting each other, so hopefully I can get a, a dance partner and then you know fight Keith Thurman, or fight the win out of Danny and Sean Porter. How's it feel to have a hometown fight, long time coming? Yeah. Do you know what venue in Dallas is going to be for the Texas fans? Oh, it feels good, man. I don't know yet. You see the Dallas Star or the American Airlines Center. You know, they're both great venue. Dallas Star I think holds like 14,000, so it's going to be big, man. It's going to be a big event. Everybody come out, book your flights now, June 16th in Dallas. It's gonna be, it's gonna be great, man. It's great, it's a great homecoming, you know, especially winning my title. Now I get to bring my title here and defend it in front of my core fans, people who supported me since day one, since I was an amateur going to the Olympics and you know, see me from the ground up. Now a lot of fans think you're the most avoided guy at welterweight. Yeah. Would you fight you? 
Man, I'm probably the most avoided guy in boxing, but. In boxing, yeah, yeah in boxing. Cleared it up for you know, us. Period. Because, like, Triple G's not the most avoided guy. Because everybody want to fight him. I mean, who else? I mean, Lemachenko wouldn't not have avoided no more because you got guys that want to fight him, too. What about Wilder? Oh, uh, I mean, Wilder only got one. One guy that's uh, so called avoiding him, that's Anthony Joshua. Aaron Spence said he's the most avoided. Yeah.